Welcome to another episode of Indian's Quick Fix Hacks. Today we focus on the low-code platform Mendix. Today we are going to look into the LDAP synchronization available in Mendix. There is a module available in Mendix App Store named as LDAP synchronization module for synchronizing the Active Directory. This particular module has a dependency with two other modules in Mendix. That's community commons and encryption. So the next step is to download the two dependency modules in the Mendix application where I'm going to have the LDAP synchronizing module to synchronize the Active Directory users. Now I have imported community comments and encryption along with the LDAP module that you can see here. Next step is to add the navigation to configuration page of the LDAP module and yep, run the application. Now you can see the LDAP configuration page in your Mendix app. The next step is to add a new configuration. Alright, the next one I'm going to create a new page. Description, as we all knew, it's going to be a free text, but make sure it makes some sense. The next one, the server address. Note, please add prefix LDAP to the host name. Give VM underscore machine. Got it. All right. The root directory. Add the root directory of the Active Directory. Next, click. You can keep these options on. Click enabled. Next one. You can add multiple LDAP configuration. You can use toggle to know which one is active. I'm going to use that one here. The next, to add username which is available in Active Directory. Make sure this includes the domain name. Alright, the next part is about the password. You can skip that and the LDAP type this one is to select the type of synchronization and uh, I'm gonna have the select import users from Active Directory this is to you know maps uh, users to the whichever entity you wanna map into your application next step Right, to my name, suffix indiumsoft.com, sign a default Mendix role for the respective users. Synchronization settings. There you can assign synchronization by path or by group. Next, user input mapping. Available attributes. Okay, click the refresh. You can look at the list of attributes available in the Active Directory. Now the next step is to map the Active Directory attribute to the Mendix attributes in the entity. Alright, here we go. We map some names and click save and make sure the values provided are unique. Now I'm gonna synchronize the users. Right. Now we have imported a set of users into the Mendix application successfully. That's nothing but the system.users objects. Alright, next I'm gonna try logging in using one of these credentials. Let's pick iAdmin. 
this user is available in the Active Directory. So I'm going to try using the credentials, that's the username and password of the Active Directory. Note, I have used the password of Active Directory. As you can see here, this belongs to Active Directory that we are trying to log in. Hola. Now I'm able to access my Mendix application. Hope you all liked the video. We'll catch up with some interesting features in our next video. Thank you.